Okay, so for me, this game, as uh, Carolina Hurricanes get a 4-3 win over the Dallas Stars in overtime, for me, this game is almost a tale of two different Hurricanes. Because, and I think it illustrates the biggest flaw with the Hurricanes. So to start with, with the game, you have the Hurricanes, they have an amazing start to the game. You know, they play really well, get a hot power play goal. Even in the second period when they go up, to uh to nothing or maybe yeah two nothing and then dallas got to one they played really well they uh they came out really strong and then i think about the halfway point when they started going up to nothing they kind of almost felt like they relaxed and been like okay we got a two goal lead you know we're out playing dallas we outplayed them last game let's just lay off a bit here and then dallas gets another one and still i didn't see a lot of killer instinct in the canes this game there was just something about this game I did not see a lot of killer instinct towards the last half of the game. Now, when Dallas got the 3-2 goal, then yeah. So at, so then they had killer instinct again. But my question is, if you're looking at this from a fan's perspective, is why did it take the team going ahead to get the goal? I understand Kadobin was hot, but if anything, that should motivate you to score more because he can't lay off in this league. And when you get to the playoffs and you're facing a team that has that killer instinct like Boston did, and you kind of lay off when you're ahead, you're going to lose the series in five games. That's how we lost to Boston was once we had the lead, we laid off or we came out in the first period kind of low and we just couldn't steal a game. You can't let teams steal a game, or in this case, Dallas, they stole a point. Now, over time and the last five minutes of the third, back to the beginning of the Hurricanes. I thought the Hurricanes played great. They overcame a terrible call. Now, in regards to the officiating, the officiating was dog shit. However, when you're analyzing the officiating, for me, no matter what team you are, when it comes to bad calls, you just got to play through it. Whether you're playing youth hockey or you're playing at the NHL level. I feel like you just your attitude on officiating needs to be played through it because there's going to be bad calls. You know, refs aren't perfect. There's human error. It's just the way the game works. The call on Svechnikov was bullshit. And then when you look at the fact that uh, I think it was Heiskanen cut to the net and did the same thing. Yeah, like that was just, uh, that was terrible calls. But you know what? The Canes played through it. They got the overtime winner. And they got six out of six points against the Stanley Cup finals of last year. That's great. You can't really complain too much. Although I do see some red flags for the Canes going forward in the season when the games really start to matter and you got to push through. This is a 56-game schedule. You're playing the same teams every game. The games are really going to matter. By the end of the halfway through the season, every game's going to feel like a playoff game. And that's when you got to push through. It's going to be a long season, and you got to push through even when you're ahead. When you're ahead, you can't take your foot off the gas pedal. Now, for Hurricane of the Game, i got to give it to who I think played the best game, and I got to give it to Jordan Stahl. Jordan Stahl is the hurricane of the game. For me, I thought Jordan Stahl got the goal. He was back-checking. He was adding a physical presence. I didn't see him give up. Now, I want to give a shout-out to Trocek, who has just been phenomenal. Like, that trade has really worked out for Carolina. And I want to give a shout-out to Ajo. I thought Ajo had a very good game. And then Reimer, I thought, had a good game. I don't really think you can blame the goals on him. So, yeah, that uh, those are, you know, it's just it's a tale of two hurricanes right now. Like there's there are red flags going into the playoffs. And for me, you got to have that killer instinct. And right now, I think when you factor in last season and now with the start of this season, Carolina doesn't have it. They can come out really strong. Carolina consistently comes out strong. They consistently play well. There is something about it, though. They can get a little too comfortable to me. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the game. Surprisingly a little shorter of a video because I thought I would have more to talk about with the bad officiating and the and the fact that it was a tale of two games, but I managed to uh, make my thoughts a little bit more concise this game. So, yeah, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, feel free to like and subscribe, especially if you're a Canes fan. And uh, comment down below what you guys thought of the game, who you guys thought the hurricane of the game was. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday, I remembered, uh, for the next game when Carolina goes into Chicago. And we'll get to see a pretty beautiful looking game. You know, I like Hurricanes jerseys and Chicago maybe has top three jerseys in the league. So, you know, even though Chicago is not a great game, at least the game is going to be pretty, pre is going to be a beautiful game. So I'll see you guys.
and uh, on Tuesday.